Hello, my name is Armin. In this video, I am going to show you how you can model an H beam in Comsol Multiphysics. For this reason, I found a simple example in internet. This beam consists of two simply supports, boundary condition, and a nodal force in the middle of it. Also, I find a useful website that writes H beam dimensions. Okay, let's get started. First, I click on Model Wizard, then I select 2D because I want to obtain in plain answers. I'm going to Structural Mechanics and uh, click on Beams in its subgroup. Then I click on Add and finally I click on study in general study we can see four options for response first is eigenfrequency it can obtain uh, natural frequencies of beam second option is frequency domain that gives us uh, frequency response stationary give us the static answer and finally time dependent uh, that give us uh, answer with respect of time I'm going to select stationary then I click on done okay all of beam dimensions in website are in millimeters, so I'll choose millimeter unit. It's time to create geometry, so I'll click on uh, sketch tab or geometry tab. Okay, I will show you the example again. It has two simply supported boundary condition and one nodal force in the middle of beam. In the geometry tab, I'll uh, select the polygon uh, and uh, create a horizontal line. I click on the center of coordinate and uh, another point is, for example, one millimeter. I can change the length of the beam from coordinate in the setting window. For example, 800 millimeter. By clicking on build selected, we can see the result. Okay, it's time to define a material for beam. I'm going to select the structural steel for my model. As you see, this line has two points. I have to add a point in the middle of line for defining the force. I am going to sketch tab, click on point and select the middle of line. You can see the coordinate point in the setting window. I have to define my optional cross section. Okay, I, I'll click on cross section data, uh, choose common sections and in section type, I'm going to select edge profile. All of dimensions are defined in meter. Now 
in the website all of dimensions are in millimeter. Okay, in this section I have to define the boundary conditions. We have two pinned boundary condition or simply supported. Uh, we have a point load. Uh, I'm going to physics tabs point and select point load and I insert a optional force for example 1000 newton in my section I click on build all and I see two linear element after all I click on compute from study one Okay, all of my results are wrong because I inserted wrong dimensions. I am going to cross section data again and I'll change the dimensions. I have to insert 0.1. I'll click on compute again. Yes, we can see the correct answers. There are several default plots like stress, moment, shear, force, and axial force. I want to show you the plot of displacement of beam in the respect of beam's length. Okay, I'm going to create a 1D plot group right click on it and click on line graph in the selection i'm going to select all boundaries because we have two parts y-axis data shows a displacement of beam by default after all i click on plot and we can see the result Another important diagram is the shear force respect to beam length. I have to create a 1D plot group. I need a line graph, so I click on line graph. From selection in settings window, I click on all boundaries. By clicking on replace expression, I'm going to select section forces and uh, click on share force. Then I click on plot and we can see the results. This diagram shows the magnitude of uh, displacement. I want, I want to show you the vector of displacement. I click on uh, replace expression, beam, displacement, displacement field, and displacement field, Y component, then I click on plot. Thank you for watching my video.